Welcome to all. In this video, we will discuss module number two, partial differential calculus two, and the topic is partial derivation, partial differentiation, and also partial derivatives. So first, we will discuss partial differentiation and partial derivatives. After that, we will discuss the based on the problems. So we have learned the concept of differentiation of the function which is defines only one independent variable so y equal to f of x in this section we proceed to find the derivative of a function of more than one variable <coughs> the function with two or more variable appear after the signs the studies of the probability statistics fluid dynamics and electricity to mention only a few so this is our example where we used the partial differentiation okay. so the definition <coughs> the process of differentiating a function to several variable with respect to one of its variable while keeping the other variables fixed is known as a partial differentiation and what is the partial derivative if a function depends on two independent variable x and y is denoted by f equal to f of x comma y so the partial derivative of f with respect to x while the other variable is treated as a constant it is denoted by fx x y f of x and do f r do f by do x so the partial derivative of f with respect to x is defined as do f by do x equal to limit del x tends to 0 f of x plus del x comma y minus f of x comma y divided by del x where del x is the small increment in x similarly do f by do x equal to f of y f of y of x comma y equal limit del y to de, this is y del y tends to 0 f of y plus del y comma x minus f of x comma y divided by del y provided the all right hand limits exist <coughs> So higher order partial derivatives if z equal to f of x comma y then second order partial derivatives are f of double x that is dou square f by dou x square this is the second order partial derivatives f of y y f of x y f of y x so how to denote f of y x means dou square f by dou y dou x that is dou by dou y into dou f by dou x in all ordinary cases dou square f by dou x dou y is equal to dou square f by dou y dou x so first problem find dou z by dou x and find dou z by dou y from the following function so z equal to x, is x, x cube y plus y square x plus 2xy so first you have to find dou z by dou x so given the function is z equal to x cube y plus y square x square plus 2xy so differentiating partially with respect to x and y so first partially differentiate with respect to x dou z by dou x equal to, this is 3x square y plus 2y square x plus 2xy so this is dou z by dou x <coughs> and dou z by dou y x x cube into y differentiation is 1 next x square into y square differentiation is 2y next 2x into y differentiation is 1 so this is dou z by dou y is a simple problem and the second problem if z equal to cos x by y plus sin x by y so given z equal to cos x by y plus sin x by y so first we have to find dou z by dou x next we have to find dou z by dou y so partially differentiate with respect to x and y so dou z by dou x equal to minus sin x by y into 1 divided by y plus cos x by y into 1 divided by y so this is dou z by dou x so differentiate with respect to x only next differentiate with respect to y so minus sin x by y into minus x by y square plus cos x by y into minus x by y square this is dou z by dou y and first one is dou z by dou x equal to 1 by y into minus sin 
x by y plus cos x by y and dou z by dou y equal to x by y square into sin x by y minus cos x by y. So this is dou z by dou x and dou z by dou y. Okay, it's a simple problem only. So next <coughs> example to verify dou square z by dou x dou y is equal to dou square z by dou y dou x for the problem sin z equal to sin minus of x by y so we have to prove or we have to verify this condition is true or false definitely it is true because it is the one of the property so given z equal to sin inverse of x by y so differentiating partially with respect to x and y so dou z by dou x equal to y divided by square root of 1 minus x square y square and dou z by dou y equal to x divided by square root of 1 minus x square into y square so consider dou z by dou x equal to y divided by 1 minus x square into y square by using question rule dou by dou x into u by v so v into u dash minus u into v dash divided by v square so dou square z by dou y dou x equal to dou divided by dou y into dou z by dou x that is equal to dou divided by dou into what is dou z by dou x that is y divided by 1 minus square root of 1 minus x square y square so apply u by v form we will get 1 into square root of 1 minus x square y square minus y into 2y x square divided by square root of 1 minus x square y square divided by square root of 1 minus x square y square the whole square so definitely this two is cancelled then we will get 1 minus x square y square minus 2 x square y square divided by square root of 1 minus x square y square power 3 okay so this is 1 minus this is minus 1 minus 2 we will get minus 3 so 1 minus 3 x square y square divided by square root of 1 minus x square y square power 3 so this is dou z by dou y this is dou z by dou x clear next we have to find dou z by dou y same dou square z by dou x dou y equal to dou divided by dou x into dou z by dou y what is dou z by dou y x divided by square root of 1 minus x square y square again same we have to apply u by v form so 1 into this is v square square root of 1 minus x square y square the whole square 1 into square root of 1 minus x square y square minus x into 2xy square divided by square root of 1 minus x square y square so clearly this is 3 again this is minus 1 minus 2 will get minus 3 so from compare equation 1 and 2 this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 what is equation 1 and 2 it is LHS is equal to RHS therefore dou square z divided by dou x dou y is equal to dou square z by dou y dou x only it is it is it is equal for only the partial derivative not in the difference derivative not, not a normal derivative for example it is not equal to dou dz divided by dx dy is not equal to d square z divided by dy dx definitely it is different it is not equal but in the partial derivatives it is equal okay so this is the second problem z equal to sin inverse of y by x same process we have to verify dou square z divided by dou x dou y and it is equal to dou square z divided by dou y dou x so see equation 1 will get minus x divided by square root of x square minus y square whole power 3 and equation 2 also minus x divided by square root of x square minus y square power 3 so equation 1 and 2 are equal so definitely the condition is satisfied okay so that's all i hope you are all understand the concept of partial derivative and how to find the derivatives and how to verify the derivatives okay so thanks for watching this video if you have any doubt you can comment me or text me thank you thank you once again